morning everybody it's Friday having my coffee I was doing a little bit of work on the computer just waiting for Katie it's about quarter after seven quick and showered everything over this morning I was down here by ten of seven so just figured I'd get a little bit done over here getting ready for our weekend uh, hopefully tomorrow night I'll have good things to report we're hoping this one like I said we've never done it before hoping it's a success Okay guys, I'm watching Undercover Boss Abroad and this is one about a fish and chip chain in England and they happen to pick um, it's the Mary Hill I know it's I guess it's considered near Birmingham but I have a feeling it's another one just so you can see the family's accent and my accent are totally different the girl in the white shirt <laughs> this is so funny it has the accent from the area I'm from. Now keep in mind I only lived there a couple of years so I never really had this accent but my brother, my dad, my mother, my grandparents, my aunts, uncles and cousins have this accent. There you go. Ma'am? Alright, come on through. Today, Maria will be working under the Not manager, the guy. 31 year old this Kelly woman. Foxall. She doesn't know her new trainee for the day is the CEO of the company. Right, Millie, if uh, we can get the restaurant laid up now, knives mm -hmm. and forks, make sure all our centerpieces meet the specification. Kelly has been Not the manager for more than four years. And I love that they have to put subtitles. trying to keep the restaurant alive. Luckily, all the space is the left. Mm -hmm. So obviously the opposite side on the other side mm -hmm. of the table. Make sure that we've got really good sugar, sauces, mm -hmm. and then we'll be ready to go for the afternoon service. Excellent. Okay. Isn't that funny? Maria so that's what my family's accent sounds like. Usually See, the Brits do say A. Alright. Okay, we were cheeky, we just treated Ash and myself to new phone cases. Let's have a look. Hey, London! <laughs> Ash got a double-decker bus and Big Ben and I got my faithful saying, keep calm and carry on, which isn't working right now. Nan's gonna call you now. Now we're going over to drop off Avon and get Ashley some lunch. And then we're running to some call it Kmart, some call it Target. I have Target's a, fancier than Kmart. <laughs> I have a brain freeze and I keep calling it Kmart. Alright, let me go deliver my Avon. See you in a bit. Hi guys, Ash and I just got home from doing some errands. Then where did we go? Then we went to Costco. If you need batteries, go to Costco. I got um, Peep 40 AA batteries for $13.99. I've been looking for one. If anyone ever sees it's iPhone 4, if you ever see the case, um, I'm looking, you're going to think I'm stupid, but one of the Bejeweled Savorsky crystal ones with the Union Jack, and they do them in grey and white only, or red, white and blue, and obviously I want the red, white and blue. And then we went to Target, which was a lot of fun. Um, the reason we go there, they have the Stouffer's Chicken Alfredo, the family size, which is Ash's favourite. And we can't find it anywhere else. Stop and Shop doesn't have it. A&P doesn't have it. Oh, excuse me. There's a big Barnes & Noble in this shopping centre and I think apparently Snooky's going to be there signing books. So Ash is going to... This place is about 10 minutes from where Ash works. Not even. It's kind of around the corner. So Ash is going to um, try and go before work and get her book signed she goes, she's supposed to be there at 1 Ash has to be at work at 3.30 so Ash will go there and see if she can get her book signed before work Katie will be here soon she's only with me till about 3.15, 3.30 today and then she goes to her after program and then we're just going to come home and get our stuff ready because we'll be up again at 6 in the morning and at the field by 7.30. Feeling good about it, so. Whew, a bit exhausted. So I think that's it for now. I will definitely touch base. I just want to say, look at this for organization. 
this bag's great, but, but the inside is like really soft and it keeps, I don't know if you can see it on here, I kind of cleaned it, but when I carry the iPad in there, this area here gets all black and I have to keep washing it. So I took everything out of it yesterday and I uh, cleaned every little thing and put it all back in. I kind of just wiped out the inside with um, a washcloth just to kind of take some of the I think it's because it's new and it's, you know, where it wears, it kind of rubs off a bit. Do you guys have the application? I don't know if you have Chase Bank. You can actually deposit your checks through your... The other one, you just take a picture of the check. Chase offers that, so it's a great thing. Um, so I'm going to go deposit that check because I'm not going to run out again to the bank. I keep checking the stitching on the handles just to make sure it's all right, but it's doing well so far, so... Target forgot to tell you, they asked if we want to do a customer survey at the end, should it take two minutes, and she walked us over to computer. I'm like, of course, I found out after we did it that we had put in for a $5,000 um, gift card, so that would be nice. So fingers crossed we win. <laughs> I did all very satisfied, so um, they are friendly in there, and it is clean and tidy, and I found everything I needed, so it was a good day to catch me for a survey. Now I'll do what I said I was going to do, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And now I notice I'm really huge around the face. So I think I'm going to have to find a better angle because I'm all face. Fat face. That's what I call this one. Fat face. Bye. Who's in her glory? She's slipped off the pillow. Yes, I'm talking about you. Katie left around 3.30 and um, I'm back up here. So chilling out for a little bit. Pete should be home in about half an hour to 40 minutes. And then we're off to baseball. You can hear all the neighbours cutting their grass. It's a brilliant day. Alright guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. Ash is getting herself ready for work. Talk to you soon. Bye now. Hi guys. It's me. <laughs> is it really? It is. It's um, 10 past 9. Just got the last load of laundry in for the night, and um, he's just loading up the car for tomorrow because we have to take the tent and everything with us tomorrow. I'll get some video over there. He went over tonight just to take some shots at the field, and uh, the guys were all over there setting up for tomorrow's fun day. So it's gonna be a good day. Well, it's gonna be fun to be over there by 7 30 in the morning. First team comes from Louis. Oh, Louis is driving me insane. First team's showing up at 20 past 8 or quarter to 9. I think our first shot's at 8.50, but they have to be there half an hour before so we can get started. Touch base with all the guys. So we got our crew all set. I just put tons of Coke and Pepsi and waters and Gatorades and everything in the fridge. What else? Bought a bunch of snacks at the store. <laughs> I forgot when we were out today, I wanted to tape. Every time we walked out of the store, I said to Ash, Oh, we should have taped. I have the video in my hand, not in my hand, but right at the top of my bag, ready to go. But um, look, Louis having his dinner now. He's eating his leg. He's such a nerd. We always take, we always provide the food and drinks for the guys when we work a long day. And I don't think we're going to have time to go get coffees and all that. I have iced coffee. Huge bags with about 30 bags of little chips in it. Burgers and hot dogs are <coughs> available throughout the day. So I am so tired. And this is, these are getting darker and darker. I'm like literally running on no sleep. Snacks and sugar. <laughs> feel like the mom on um, toddlers and tiaras having to give the guys some sugar to pep them up. Day, they're going to be out in the heat all day, but we try and take care of them. I think I bought enough. They probably won't have any time and they're probably all on a health kick, so everything I bought them they probably won't want anyways. We'll see if she goes to that book signing tomorrow. I told you earlier that Snooki's doing book signings at Barnes & Noble and Ash really wants to go download this tonight and see if I can at least edit some of it. I probably not. What time is it? 20 after 9? We'll see. But I'm just rambling, so I hope you guys had a good Friday. And we will see you tomorrow.